when I committed to come here to play for the Ohio State Buckeyes, I knew the hard work and the preparation I had to put in to carry on that tradition to be the next great running back. Now, we was number three in the country. We was 9-0. I was feeling good. The team was feeling good. Don't get me wrong. But I felt like I had a lot more to offer being just other than a kickoff return specialist. So next week practice, next game, we're going against Michigan. I had to show why coming out of high school, why I was the number one running back. So I proved to my teammates, my coaches, the fans, everybody. I deserve more playing time. And being running back number two now, yeah, I definitely deserve that shot. So next week coming against number two, Michigan, this game has national championship feel all around this game. I mean, this team was loaded. Number seven overall in total offense. Number one in total defense. Yeah, we had our work cut out for us. I knew it was going to be a dogfight from the start of the whistle to the clock hit triple zeros. All I had to do was to contribute. Contribute and do my part. As I said, I knew this was going to be a dogfight. We already down by seven started the second quarter. I turned to the outside and tried to make it down the sideline, but I ended up getting tackled with a huge game on the play. We score, they score. It's going to be a back and forth game. As I find the creep down the sideline, I just cannot outrun these defenders. Going to be a dogfight. We score, they score. Nobody is playing defense, so I feel like whatever team makes the first couple of stops, that's the team that's going to win. And you know your boy Kareem had to punch his stamp his way to history in this game by scoring that touchdown. We up by four. This game is far from over. As we get a nice huge gain on this kickoff return, that return of 54 yards. We were down by eight with four minutes and 54 seconds left in the game. We catch the pass and nice hit by the DB right there. But we have to score on this drive because I feel like nobody is stopping nobody on offense. And right here, we almost break out of that tackle with nice first down, 30 and 13. CJ Stroud hit us right here. I promise you that was a touchdown. But we end up getting a first down. And so we are up by one. Up by one. I knew this was going to be a dog fight, a slug fist, a heavyweight bout, nice return. And we end up winning that game 46 to 41. Now, I don't think, hopefully, we play our way to the college football playoff. Because that game, I knew coming in, it was going to be a national championship kind of feel to it. He had two catches, 23 yards. No, we have yet to score no touchdown outside of kickoff return. We have yet to reach the end zone. I mean, being the number one running back, you, you got to feel some kind of way, man. We, we just don't want to be known as a kickoff return specialist. But here we are, even after beating Michigan, they are still in the college football playoff race. We only got Clemson and USC in front of us. All three of us sitting at 12 and 0. Man, it's crazy. We beat them and they still in the hunt, man. But let's get straight into this Big Ten championship game against Wisconsin. They already up by seven. And bro, we get our first touchdown of the season receiving wise. Let's go. No, I know it's a big sigh of relief. It's just like you score a touchdown other than kickoff return. That's a great feeling. We trying to return this kickoff. Nice return, bro. 47 yards. Like I said, our defense needs to come up with a stop. Because we know what our offense can do. And right here, once again, turning on the Jets. And this boy is gone, bro. He is gone. Let's go. But look at this. Despite winning the Big Ten Championship, we did not make the national championship. You got Clemson versus USC. Y'all drop y'all predictions on who y'all think will win these games. You got Utah versus North Carolina. Drop y'all comments below who y'all think will win. You got Wisconsin versus Oklahoma. That should be a good one. You got the Sugar Bowl, Mississippi State versus Kansas State. Drop y'all predictions. You got Michigan versus Notre Dame. We beat Michigan couple games ago you got the gator bowl man you got georgia gonna smack BYU. you already see that you got us at the rose bowl against ucf of course we gonna smack them hopefully and our defense shows up make a couple stops you got chick-fil-a bowl oh mr versus miami that should be a big game a good game y'all drop y'all predictions below 
We up by 310 to 7 start of the second half. As I spoke, bro. You coming to Ohio State expecting to be the guy. Now, he has a big hill to climb, being that he got three other running backs ahead of him. They are all underclassmen. You feel me? So, the expectation of him coming here thought he was going to be the guy and just take over the job. I mean, that's not the case. You feel me? So, we barely got touched. We ain't not winning that game. He on the final season stats. We got 1,500 yards, kickoff return yards, seven touchdowns. Seven touchdowns. We got seven receptions, 77 yards, and that one receiving touchdown we got against Wisconsin. Rushing wise, 13 rushing attempts, 87 yards. You gotta feel some kind of way if you was a number one running back. You feel me on 13 touches? You got Williams, you got Henderson, bro. You got some dogs in front of you. You feel me? But he had a prediction, bro. USC in the winning. If y'all predict the USC to win, man. Big shout out to y'all, Caleb Williams. Let me see what kind of game he had. Got three rushing attempts to one yard. That's crazy, but passing wise, 21 for 33. Buck 98, four touchdown, one interception. North Carolina ended up beating Utah. That shit is crazy, man. The Cotton Bowl, Wisconsin ended up beating Oklahoma by three. That was a close, tight game. The Sugar Bowl. Kansas State end up thumping Mississippi State. I don't know what it is about Kansas State, man. They're definitely a good sleeper underdog school. You feel me? Uh, Michigan end up beating Notre Dame. I kind of seen that coming. But Georgia, I, I just knew without even looking at the score, I, I just knew they were going to smack BYU. Definitely not a competition. And we end up beating UCF. And Ole Miss end up scoring barely squeezing by Miami barely squeezing by Miami now this kid's in talks of transferring do you know I, I don't know bro should he transfer should he you know stick it out dog it out feel me if he can go anywhere in the country and start from day one but here are the final stats on the game we really we really need doing what we didn't get no rushing attempt we didn't get no passing attempt thrown our way but if he was to transfer, you got Nebraska that recruited this guy. Any schools that I'm showing you, he can go to any school and start. Yeah, Washington Huskies, a good up and coming power five team, solid offense. He definitely will fit well in that offense. Um, in Nebraska and the Washington, you got boys. He stayed up there. That's close to home. He's from Montana. Um, a lot of good schools, man. Definitely a lot of good schools. You got Minnesota. Should he stick in the Big Ten? You just never know. So if y'all got any kind of suggestions that y'all would like for me to see in the RTG series-wise, other series-wise, y'all let me know. But it's your boy, Sarah Eats. And don't exit the video, man. Got to subscribe and shout out, man. Coming right at you. Hey, you see, I'm going to start back doing this. Big subscriber shout out, man. Marty the Great 7661, man. Appreciate you, man. You know, I try to improvise or, or watch different YouTubers and um, just trying to put my own twist on things. So a lot of times, I just come up with creative ideas about what help with God, man. So, big shout out to you. Corey Payne, 3715, a normal subscriber, man. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. LOM, man. Rocky, Rocky, so rocks. Sorry for, sorry for, for announcing that wrong, man. Big shout out to you, man. The editing on the video was amazing. The crowd noise in the big place, the highlights, stats, updates, all around amazing. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you, man. Uh, who else we got? Mason, LJC901, man. Appreciate you. Like I, like I said, bro, y'all got suggestions, and they're really good suggestions, backstories, you know, whatever position. I will take that consideration, and we'll you do that as a series, man. So big shout out to you. Salute to you. Job boy Smith123. We need to we need to run up Washington. Washington Husky got a squad, man. Definitely got a squad on them. You just never know. Dree2 Global 55 man. 555. Five, five. Maryland is the squad, bro. In the Big Ten. In the next series, I will consider that. Them as a team. You just never know. Um Steeler Nation 9822 is this series ending. And Kajua is going to NFL. I don't know. 
you know depends on how well it do some series not just me but a lot of big youtubers they have successful college career and then they get to madden it kind of doesn't do quite well so like i say it depends on if this series do good or not um if it does good it will continue in the nfl but if not i'm just gonna leave it be and just start a new series man Dude, the God 4100, man, and subscriber. Old subscriber, appreciate you, man. The U. I'm a real life Florida Gator fan, so I really can't rock with the U. I don't like the U. It's in my DNA. Also, Florida State, so I can't rock with them. Another LOL man rocks, man. Appreciate you. Antonio Shelley, 8892, Keep Grind, man. Sometimes, some days, it just like. Bro, it, it's like, what? I be expecting and exciting the video to do great in comments wise, views wise, and they don't. I ain't gonna cap y'all. It do get, you know, it's like, some days I did wanna give up. You know what I mean? But seeing comments like this definitely, definitely, you know, keeps me going, man. Also, you know, a lot of these things are uh, rebuilds. I'm, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I mean, if y'all really want it, then I will do that as a series. Um, big shout out to everybody that subscribed, that subscribed to the channel, man. It's, it's like comments like this, man, that just that keeps me going. You know what I mean? Like I said, y'all suggest anything. It's suggestions, series that y'all want to see other than RTGs. You know what I mean? Y'all y'all let me know. Don't be afraid to comment, man, because I, I read them. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's a BRCR8, man, and I'm going up out of here. The tree. I wanna salute every nigga who run with me And it's a secret everything that you done with me Cause it's a couple niggas that practice loyalty Family